Hey guys, see I'm here. Hoping uh, you guys are doing well. Um, all my uh, viewers, subscribers, and uh, knife freaks out there. Um, this uh, knife is already spoken for, but I figure I'd make a video for it before it goes out. Um, this is going to a guy that goes by the username Culpritish, I think if I pronounce it right, on Blade Forms, and um, uh, he snatched it up pretty quick. But um, this is, you all know I've been getting into carbon fiber lately. And uh, oh yeah, before I talk about that knife, I'll show off this uh, work in progress. Let's see, get back here, pan out a little bit. More of a short sword than anything, and should I haven't even measured it yet? But let's see, I don't know. I, I guess I measure it right around. Oh, oh, tell me if I'm wrong here, but um, where would you measure this at? Let's see. Um, one inch. Would you start right here, you know, after the guard? Or, you know, would you start where it's sharp as on the primary edge, or the double edge, or which? But, uh, after the guard. About 10 half inch blade. Um, 0.300 thick, uh, aerospace bidirectional CF, uh, with sharpened false edge, so I guess it's not a false edge. Um, let's see, Tano point. Um, let's see the profile on this. Big kitty. What is it? Yeah? Oh, yeah? Okay, yeah, big kitty. He wants a knife. Yeah, he's not happy with the five uh, ones on each appendage that God gave him. But, yeah. Pretty cool there. Yeah. Chisel ground, of course. There's an FDW. Handle is ray skin, jap wrap. Underneath that is um, vegetable tan leather to build the thickness. And some garment leather as a cushion. All pinned with um, two uh, 0.150 uh, hardwood dowels. And you know, I've got a little sub hilt, whatever. The guard is more for extracting it from uh, the recipient than uh, actually as working as a guard. Uh, yeah, this is going to a buddy on my 3%er website. So, uh, he uh, submitted plans for almost two years ago. And I finally got around to cutting my carbon fiber because I couldn't find a water jet guy or a milling place that would actually get back to me and have good quotes. So, fuck him. All right. <clears throat> Back to business here. I made, um, you know, I've been doing carbon fiber and I had some scraps to make from uh, cutting that guy because it was uh, corner to corner, you know, on a 12 foot by 12 foot uh, or 12 inch by 12 inch uh, slab of this uh, stuff. And so I had remnants, of course, and uh, you know, that's where I made, uh, you know, this guy from. And. Uh, I, I figured uh, one of those odd shaped pieces that would make a cool little hack, and I've never owned a hack before, a hideaway knife. But um, I traced out a little sketch, and uh, it seemed to fit. So I uh, I do all my cutting by um, using my three sixteenths uh, carbide drill bit. And I've got a nasty burp building up. But, um, yeah, I cut all my, um, uh, I drill holes along the outside of the drawing first, space them about maybe, uh, eight to 16 inches apart. And, um, then I go through with the Dremel cutoff wheel and I, you know, cut the little, uh, um, you know, connectors between the holes. And because I don't really have a, a, um, a bandsaw or, um, well, I'll just tell you what I have. I have a one by 42, uh, belt grinder and, a uh, you know bench top like from here up um, drill press from Harbor Freight and a Dremel that's all I have and I don't actually even have a vice either many vices but no vice but uh, and a blowtorch and a soda can or a soup can forge for uh, hardening and stuff under three or under four inches but yeah that's my shop so um, what I do is drill all around you know cut them all out and then profile it on the on a belt grinder and do a smaller profiling uh, with like a one half inch uh, 60 grit um, Dremel drum sander disc or I mean sanding drum yeah and do my uh, you know smaller work with the quarter inch uh, drums but uh, well, I'll just showcase it right here there so you can see the grinds Let's see. This is a chisel ground. You know, 
Let's see, there's the uh, flat side. Smell the logo on there. It's all paracord wrapped and um, uh, CA sealed on the paracord. This ain't going nowhere. And there, there's the grind. I was kind of inspired by the Microtech, um, uh, what's it called, Kestrel and um, the, uh, what's it called? Shit, that's not coming to my head right now. Um, Anyways, uh, yeah, the Kestrel was a Reese Island design, but what was that? Oh, the Long Ma, uh, Pat, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, the, 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 the top of the blade, and well, I was inspired by the Microtech um, Auto, and it's kind of got the interesting like thumb ramp. If you want to choke up on it, you can, you know, but for control, but this is not a, a delicate, you know, uh, cutter where you need like to control, you know, like whittling or something. This is meant for, um, well, I mean, look at it. That's what it's meant for. Now, the hack, the original hack, I think is designed for a uh, two-finger grip like this. I have, I obviously made mine a little wider. You can fit three in there. It's kind of tight. But I prefer to uh, use the benefit of this whole um, you know, outer ring here as a contact surface and use it three fingers on the bottom so you can hammer fist or, you know, use a knuckle duster uh, with that bottom uh, you know, surface, and then you can rip and slash and whatever like this. <clears throat> and here is the Kydex for it. I've got it on a what's it called um, a static line tether, and this is all hand sewn. Let's see, get in the picture here. Yeah, it's all hand stitched. And that is because I didn't want to use rivets to preserve its um, non-metallic and non-magnetic uh, state. Yeah, this is a uh, non-mag, non-metallic. Um, it can go wherever you want to go, theoretically. And um, I'm not endorsing any kind of illegal activities with this, but it's just that um, certain uh, uh, infringements that are happening where um, you cannot carry what a uh, you should uh, god awfully be able to carry, and so there's always countermeasures to every infringement. And uh, just like body armor improves, bullets will improve, which means body armor further improves, and you get it. Yeah. So um, yeah, nature always finds a way. So this is how it works. See that? Nice and secure. Stick it in your pocket. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. And uh, Carl, you're gonna like this because this one um, is the first one of these I've done. So I have engraved it Proto. Can y'all see that? Proto. All right. Well, stay safe, everybody. Uh, if you want something like this, a uh, different blade style or similar, whatever, get at me. Uh, you know where to find me. All right, and shout out to 556mm or 556 on blade forms. Thank you very much for the glasses, dude. That is real, like, uh, fucking tight-ass wood homie shit. All right, later, guys.